Are you crying at home, sis? Pick up the phone. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't talk right now. Okay, I'll just message you. You broke up with your fiance, right? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I feel you. I don't know why this happened. We had just set a date for the wedding. We were having so much fun talking about where we wanted to go on our honeymoon. Oh, he told me he found someone he liked. I can't believe he just told me that. I never thought this would happen. Hey, you know, there's something I have to tell you. Don't be mad, okay? What is it? That someone is me. What? You are? The other day, your fiancé confessed his feelings for me. What? I felt bad for you, but he was so passionate about me, so I just said yes. I'm really sorry. Wait a minute. Did you say okay? Even though he's my fiancé? What kind of nerve do you have? Because when he confessed to me, you and him were already over. How can you marry a man who confesses to me? So it won't change whether I say yes or not, right? It does change. What about my feelings? Don't you think I would be hurt even more? Well, I feel sorry for you. But I already said okay. If you really felt bad, you would have said no when he reached out to you, wouldn't you? What you are doing is plundering. But he was the one who approached me, you know. And I just said, okay, you got to be kidding me. That's just a bunch of nonsense. I'm sorry. I'm just prettier than you. What? I've always been the one who people have loved, haven't I? You know, because you're so plain. If I compare you to me, I think I'm better than you. That's enough. Do you think you can justify it like that? But isn't that how it's always been? The people you like, sis, they always end up liking me. But I didn't think that even your soon-to-be fiancé would fall for me. You planned for that to happen, didn't you? You charmed him and seduced him. That's how you stole my fiancé. Well, it's about to go wrong at this point. It means the love between you and your fiancé wasn't true love. It's probably a good thing you found out about it before you got married. How can it be good? You're always like that, aren't you? You take from me everything important to me. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm not doing it on purpose. It just happens all around me. It's called force majeure. How can you say that? I know you feel like you have to take something that belongs to me. You can't let me be happy. You are so greedy. Calm down, sis. Being mad at me won't bring him back. You better change your mind and move on. Are you going to marry him? Well, he even proposed to me, but I'm not sure what to do. I'd feel sorry for you if I get married with your ex, wouldn't I? No, I don't mind. If you want to, why don't you get married? Weary? Really? I wouldn't congratulate you. I won't even attend the wedding. But if you want to get married, be my guest. It's not my problem anymore. Oh, you're not coming to the wedding? I will feel sad. You just want to show off. How can I congratulate you on that? I'm sure I'll never forgive you for it. Do you hate me? Even though we're the only sisters in the world? Ever since I was a child, you have taken so many things from me. So I don't want to be messed around from now on. I no longer care about you. I will not contact you. And I don't want to see you anymore. That's terrible. Don't be so cold. I really want to abuse you like a bitch. I'm trying to be nice to you. Don't get involved with me anymore. I'm sorry I left everything to you, including mom's funeral and the government procedures. I'm glad you're back, sis. I see you unblocked my WhatsApp too. I guess that means we've made up by now, right? It's only temporary. If we don't keep in touch, the funeral and other procedures won't go smoothly. Let's make up. I mean, you really left everything to me, didn't you? Mom has always been more loving to you than me. But you didn't take care of her after she passed away. 
You're an ungrateful child. I don't know anything complicated. Since you're a tax accountant, you're good at that sort of thing. So why not? I'm glad you're strong in paperwork and stuff like that. You don't have to be a tax accountant to do it. You just don't want to do it. You're so selfish. But you're the ungrateful one, aren't you, sis? I heard you lost in touch not only with me, but also with mom. Mom was on your side. So? Mom told me a year after my engagement was called off to forgive you. That's when I realized she was always on your side. She doesn't care how much I have been hurt. So I decided to keep my distance. But that was five years ago. Can't you just forgive me now? I told you I would never forgive you. I can't believe that the perpetrator is asking the victim to forgive. This, you really hate me. I'm sad. Go ahead and be sad. I don't care what you think. You're talking so coldly to me again. I was sad when mom passed away. But I was happy to see my sister again. I just came back with no choice. I didn't want to see you. You know, I heard about you at the funeral. Seems you're getting married. Congratulations. Your congratulations don't make me happy. I thought you were still holding on to that thing. But you found a new love. I'm glad you've moved on. How can you say that? Your new fiancé came with you. I really didn't want to bring him, but he's a serious guy. He couldn't even greet my parents about our marriage, so he wanted to at least attend the funeral. He was a cute guy, wasn't he? I've been thinking about it for a long time. At least you have good taste in guys. Don't mess with him. Well, I told him about what you did to me five years ago. He knows who Ashley really is, and I don't think he's going to go for you. I doubt that. Men are a lot more stupid than you think. Even if they know a beautiful flower is poisonous, they'll still try to get close to it. He's not like that. He's not that kind of guy. Besides, you have that guy you stole from me five years ago. What? I broke up with him a long time ago. No way. It was about six months after you lost contact with me. I dumped him. I thought he was nice when we started going out. He wasn't what I imagined. I kind of lost interest. You broke up my engagement. When I thought about it, I didn't even like his face that much. But I really like your current boyfriend. You're not beautiful, but somehow you are very attractive to men. I knew I shouldn't have gone to the funeral. I shouldn't have unblocked you. Don't ever get involved with me again. So you're going to block me again? But then you won't be able to see what I do. Are you still going to do something again? Not right now. I'm just happy that I can talk to you again. Sorry, sis. I might break up your engagement again. What did you do to him? You didn't notice? I know, right? If you had noticed, you would have said something. What are you talking about? Your fiancé and I were getting to know each other, secretly. We've actually dated many times. He seems to prefer me after all. You, again? How did you get close to him? I went to his house and met him. How did you know where he lived? I had a quick chat with him at the funeral. While you were busy with morning duties, I asked him where he worked at that time. Once I know where he works, it's easy to find out where he lives. Don't tell me you follow him from his office. I was walking around his house and bumped into him. Then, maybe because you weren't around, he was more friendly than at the funeral. We slept together that same day. How could that be a coincidence? Why do you try so hard to take him from me? Why can't you just leave me alone? It can't be helped. I fell in love with him at first sight. How dare you? You just want to take away my love. When you're satisfied with what you've taken from me, you dump him right away. This time, I'll be responsible until the end. After all, he promised to marry me. That's a lie. I'm not lying. Yesterday, he said he'd marry me. He would never betray me. He's not like any man I've ever met. I'm sorry. He's the kind of man who would befriend me, 
without telling you. I wonder if my charms will seduce men. Beauty is guilty, isn't it? Darn you. What are you talking about? I'm a pretty little sister, aren't I? I should have ignored mom's funeral. I wish I've never bothered with you. Don't be so sad. If I ever get tired of him, then I'll give him back to you. Or you can find a new handsome guy for me. Are you crying, sis? I feel like we had a similar conversation five years ago. I'm not crying. That's great. You've grown stronger in five years. You never change, do you? You're always doing the same thing over and over again. And you're happy about it. So it's really bad. I feel I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I broke up your marriage again. I didn't mean to. Forgive me. You don't believe that. Liar. I'm not lying. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry I was born pretty. That's okay. That man is not my fiancé. So why don't you just go ahead and get married, if you can. What are you talking about? Are you going crazy from shock? I was going crazy when I thought he betrayed me. But he wasn't. Ashley, you got the wrong guy. He must be your fiancé. I saw him coming out of his home. That guy is my fiancé's twin brother. It just happened that he was staying at my fiancé's house that day. They're identical twins, so I guess you've got confused. Don't lie to me. Your fiancé's name is Jamie, right? I call him Jamie. If I've mistaken him for someone else, he would have pointed out to me. That's the thing. His brother is a total jerk. I'm sure he noticed your mistake right away. He must have pretended to be my fiancé. Why would he do that? Because he had a pretty face. My fiancé said his brother-in-law has always been like that. He pretended to be his brother and had his way with his girlfriends. He's a good match for you. No way! It can't be! You're trying to make me give up by saying that, aren't you? I confirmed with my fiancé what you had told me. But he doesn't remember seeing you since the funeral. So we questioned him because we thought it was him. Then he admitted everything. What? So it's true? He's not your boyfriend? My brother-in-law is a womanizer. He and his wife fought a lot. The reason he stayed in my fiancé's house was that he ran away from home after a fight with his wife. His wife? What? Is he married? Yes. Also, she's pregnant. He's a married man, and he's not even your fiancé himself. He tricked me, and only satisfied his desires. I'm sure he had a lot of frustration. Then some stupid woman showed up, and he decided to use you for his own convenience. What's that? What do you mean, stupid woman? I'm talking about you. You're the one who's stupid. Oh, come on, don't be so mad. That's because you make fun of me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I've always thought you were an idiot. What? Because you are, aren't you? You may think you're talking down to me. You know, you're happy with my used ones every time. It was annoying, but thanks to you, I can judge a bad man. I'm just thankful that I finally met a nice guy. What are you talking about? Who do you think you are, sister? Maybe you feel good about taking what belongs to me. But in the end, that's the only kind of person who will take you. You were just being used. Thanks to you, I found someone I care about and I'm grateful. I'm not being taken advantage of. I'm going to take your current fiancé away from you soon. It's too late for you to regret upsetting me. Don't worry about it. We'll never see you again. What? He and I are both sick and tired of our siblings being jerks. So since we are getting married, I thought it would be a good opportunity to move far away. Even if that's the case, I will find you. If you can find us, go ahead. If you have time for that, you should really start worrying about your future. It's none of your business. Really? But I am so worried. You try to take something that belongs to me. Like being tricked into a relationship with a married man without knowing it. You're not that smart, you know that? Who would really care for someone like that? Shut up! Unlike you, I'm pretty. Everyone loves me. 
I hope you meet someone nice while you're still pretty. I hope you find someone who will love you for who you really are. At least my guy can't take someone who would hurt her own sister, no matter how pretty she is, apparently. We'll forget about you and be happy. I'm so sorry. I couldn't give you my used one anymore. After that, I moved in with him as I declared and we got married. We're living a peaceful newlywed life in a place where I don't have to deal with my sister. My husband takes good care of me and I'm so happy to have finally found someone like him. My sister, on the other hand, has been in a lot of trouble since then. She was so angry that I made fun of her. She started to search for a partner on a dating app saying that she would marry a better man than me. There, she met a good-looking, high-spec man, but he was just a scammer, and my sister ended up with a lot of theft. She must have been in a hurry and could not see what kind of man he was. My sister has been taking things from others, but now she has become the one being taken from herself. I will never see her again, but I will be happy on my own. It will be the best way to get back at my sister.